itong seminar nito is ginaganap namin at least twice a year para ma-showcase yung mga technology sa mga farmer. Although kahit hindi naman mga farmer yung ating mga participants ngayon, nag-aalaga sila ng B pero hindi nila alam yung kung paano mag-alaga. So para malaman nila kung ano ba ang dapat gawin kapag kakumari may hanin na, how to harvest, paano maparami isang colony, tapos yung paano mag-alaga ng queen, ng worker, ng drone, at saka para maipangalap dito sa buong Pilipinas gaano kahalaga ang beekeeping. So, ang halaman, kailangan merong mayroon siyang uh, mode of transfer, merong uh, agent of pollination. And honeybee is one of the best pollinators. Kasi merong iba't ibang bees na merong for honey production, pollination services, which is stingless. Pero itong seminar natin is tungkol sa Milipira, siya ay nagbibigay ng napakalaking honey production. Well, yung cross-pollination, yan ang nagpapaganda ng bulaklak at saka harvest sa mga farm products. Right now, we have uh, fruit-bearing trees, but we want to avoid pesticides and everything and yung mga fertilization. So one key research came up was pollination of the bees. And true enough, when we had the bees since May, all of those that were budding there, mga tanim, mga bulak lang na nagbabud, eh talaga nagbubloom. Kung nakikita natin sa lugar na ito may bees, yung lugar na yun ay hindi pa siya polluted. Pero kung wala na tayo nakikita, kung paro-paro, totobi, bees, doon pa lang makikita natin kung ang isang lugar is polluted. To become a beekeeper kasi, it's not just an overnight. You should be a nature lover. That's the one prerequisite. And then, it follows, you will appreciate the bees. To save the bees, para mo sila. You, you breed them. The more bees, more honey, more honey. Napapollinate, marami ngayong bunga. Marami pagkain ngayon tayo. Music